What's going on guys? Repairs and Reviews here. I know it's been a long time. I've had a lot going on. A lot of changes. We moved. We've had a second boy added to the family. So, sorry I haven't really been uh, keeping up with videos. But I wanted to show you what I was doing because I don't see any other videos showing this. Um, I want to add this um, battery capacity voltage gauge to a club car precedent. This is a 48 volt um, electric golf cart. And all the videos I see of this, uh, people are running cables from the actual batteries, which if you do, you know, this terminal with the wire coming off and then this one over here, uh, the negative and the positive together at those two terminals make 48 volts. Um, but this is what I was given. Like this six, eight inch little harness. And I'm like, there's got to be a better way. So uh, I've already cut the template here for where I want it. I've already marked it and cut it with my little Dremel tool here and put it exactly where I want it. But let me explain how I'm going to wire it. Back here on your key switch, your key switch has 48 volts going through it. Um, one is constant. This one right here is constant. It is always supplied. This one, on the other hand, is the one that is engaged when you turn the key. So this one cuts off with the key. So I'm going to wire it and put it in with this wire here. This will be my positive. And then at all this mess here, I'm going to find a negative that, and you got to test a few because they don't all equal 48 volts. This negative here that goes with my light switch is 48 volts. And let me show you what happens when I turn the key on here. 49.3 so if I wire these two terminals here to these two locations and all th this isn't running a lot of power I'm not saying you know run auxiliary stuff and speakers and everything off of these two wires because it's not going to handle the load but all you're doing is sending a signal to your voltage meter here and I got this off Amazon. It was like $11. It was great. Uh, good deal. Good reviews. Um, but yeah, all I have to do, once I mount it, is wire it, tie it into this terminal, and tie it into the terminal that uh, my meter just fell off here for my lights. And that equals 48 volts. And that will power the meter. I've already tested it. Um, that will power the meter just fine and everything will work without having to run cables all the way under the carts up through the battery compartment and wire it into anything in your batteries so just wanted to clue you in on that um, I'll try and give you a little little after shot of how everything's working also to get this dash panel off it is three screws that's it um, there's two Th uh, T30 Torx drivers, one on either side, and there's one right up here. That is a T15, I believe. And then this will just come down, so uh, you can wire lights, whatever you want to. Um, but just for this battery capacity voltage meter, all you really need is a signal. It's not really running anything, so you know that should be fine to run it off those two terminals without having to make it a huge extended long harness and uh, I will show you the finished product all right here's the finished product again I didn't hook anything to any of the batteries I use the existing powers and grounds behind the dash here go ahead and peel our new sticker off Ooh. all right I'll show you how it works 100% we are at 49 and a half volts 
And if I don't want to see it anymore, I can click it off. Or, if I want it on, ride, do whatever I want to do, when I turn the key off, it goes away. Because I powered it, tied it into the uh, key switch power. So when you turn it back off, it's gone. Simple as that. I was going to um, see if this had a part number on it, but this is just the instructions. Uh, if you had a 36 volt cart, or you want to wire this to something with lithium ion batteries and not lead acid, this explains how to uh, how to choose which setting on it. But I'm not going to get into that. But I chose it for 48 volt. Uh, lead acid batteries that's what I have it set to and that's what it's going to function as so if you have any questions leave me a comment uh, this has been uh, repairs and reviews thanks for watching